working the stitches that I want to bind off on a needle that's one increment larger than my working needle. And I'm just working that last round in pattern. And because I want to add decorative details at the corners, I'm stopping each time I get to the next corner. And it just happens that my previous round was an increase round. So I'll have to rearrange that as I get there. So I can work my first stitch. Sneak around the back. Take the first one of the increase. Oops. There we go. And I can work him. And in order to get the little feature that I'm putting on the corner uh, centred as neatly as possible on the increase line, I'm going to work the first stitch of the next pair, but only the first stitch. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to rearrange this decrease so it's in sequence now for when I'm ready to resume. If you're not bothering with the little corner details, you can carry on until your needle is full. I'm now going to slip to the opposite end of this needle. Take my crochet hook and resume binding off. So these stitches are a little bigger than the rest of the stitches in the project. And my crochet hook's a little bit too small. So I have to be careful that I don't split the plies. And I'm going to bind off up to the corner. When there are only two stitches left, I'm going to stop binding off and start making my chain. So I've got Two stitches left and I'm finishing with the front corner stitch. So that one is a front stitch and it's right at the point of the increase line. Now I'm just going to make my chain using both yarns together and I'm going to do six chain stitches. There is my six loop chain and now I'm just going to pop that last chain loop onto that knitting needle as a temporary measure. Then I'll take my larger size needle that I'm working all the stitches before binding off. And then I will resume working in pattern. There's my first pearl from the far layer and knit. And I will carry on like this until I get to the next corner position and ready for the next little widget on the corner. Once you reach your next position for the corner, then you can slip back to the beginning of the needle again, treat those two stitches left over from the chain as if they were one, and resume your binding off. So the first stitch you'll bind off is that one from the far layer of the fabric, and bring it through both the stitches of the chain. And now just continue binding off. Repeat that around the edge until you come to the end of the round.